here, the third part of today. I don't know what episode. I can keep it in this one right here. Like I said. There we go. We get a horse tail for it. Yes, you do want that horse tail. Don't throw it away like Chucka did. Because unlike Chucka Conroy, um, we are going to unlock all the recipes in this game. And it's a good idea to carry that one around. I actually have a list of recipes right in front of me right now. Um, printed out. Printed out, so... Jeez, oh, just eating Goombas. That can make everything hard for everyone. Okay, you know what I should have done? Oh crap. I should have got rid of that spiked Goomba there. That would be a good idea. Oh no, wait, you can't use Hammer from the front, unless it's the front enemy, so. You have to get rid of these guys first anyway. And he's the only one that can actually hurt you, so. Plus, I got lucky, so. I'm not really screwed. I have one health below what I possibly could have, so. I wanna do head bonk on the flying Goomba. It's a badge. A close call for partner. Yeah, if your badge has a smiley face in the corner, um, that means it's for your partner to use, not you. But if you equip it, of course, your partner is your partner is gonna be pretty effective with it, so. Yeah, Goombella's not the only partner in this game, so don't think you're just gonna stick him with her the whole time. Um, actually, in this level, pretty soon we're gonna get a new partner. Our first one. Our second one, at least. If you want to say that. What have we been lacking lately? Definitely badge points, so. Let's add badge points to our characters. Oh, yeah, we got the close call partner. Um, let me show some things in the journal real quick. This is your map, of course. Here's the crystal stars you've gotten. Um, of course, you gotta get all seven to beat the game. Um, this is an optional part. This is the title log where you can see the enemies you've scanned. Um, we're gonna fill that thing up, of course. And there's all the enemies you've scanned before. Alright, blooper. See, even the bosses. And this is the badges section. It'll show every single type of badge you've gotten. You don't have to get, like, seconds of the same badge. You just have to get each type of badge. Like, there's power smash. Um... There's close call, there's close call partner, and there's pretty lucky. So, yeah, fill that thing up. And there's a similar one called recipes, which we'll learn later because we haven't got the recipes in this game yet. Ooh, nice. Hit this guy, see what he manages manages to drop. What the heck? Let's talk today. Um, yes, another feature in this game that wasn't the first game, we can walk in background, um, which we will use when I figure out where the freaking star piece is. Well, first thing we're going to do is hit this button here, so. Yeah, it's a lot of frame rates to do this, so if my computer can't really produce that real easy. But, okay. And we're going to run over here, and there's a star piece over there. Who knew? That's the end of the level there, so I'm not going to go there. Or not the end of the level, end of the area. I love how there's little mountains to run across. It's kind of cool looking. Um, but anyway, we have this little pipe here. Sorry if you can't see that, but okay, we're back here. Oh yeah, to open these little bushes out of the way, press A, I forgot to say that. Um, yeah, check all the bushes, they can always drop items, like coins and stuff. Like here's a present, a mystery. Um, that, you don't know what's in there. Um... You just use it and you play a little Rowlet and see what you get. And there's some. Alright, hit it. I want to see if they have anything. I think the big one would have something hiding inside it, but it doesn't. Okay, we got everything here. And this is Petalsburg. Which supposedly is a Pokemon level, but I don't play a lot of Pokemon, so I wouldn't know. And a Koopa talking to us. Ugh. What happens to Koopas being bad guys? Yeah, you, you. What happens to Goombas being bad guys? What happens to anything being a bad guy in Mario? Last time I checked, everyone was a bad guy except Mario and Luigi. And yes, Wario originally was a bad guy. So he's the evil version of Mario at first. In. If you have an in coupon, I guess. I guess the good idea would be to waste it real quick and just get it over with. Um, because you're not gonna find a really big use with it, so. Definitely save since we got to a town. And. We can't really die here. 
Oh yeah, this little guy here, I love what he says. He's like, hey, what's up? I gotta say, I'm really hooked on playing GBA games lately. There's this one game that absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. Nah, I don't want to talk to you again. But yeah, if you come to him like multiple times, he'll talk about different games. And I've only come to him twice, came to him now, and I've come to him um, at the very end when you're searching for a person here. It happens to be this guy right here. And he says something about like, he references like this game, like he says like Paper Mario with Thousand Year Doors, like the best game ever. Which is funny because it is the best game ever. Eh. But anyway, I find it funny how they reference the game you're playing at the moment. It's like, it's like some kind of vortex or something. Um, another thing, um, over here, this is the, the mayor's house right here, we're gonna go that pretty soon. Um, search these little bushes here. One of them has a turtle leaf in it, that's it. Turtle leaf, is that by any chance a reference to Turtwig? I like to reference Pokemon in this game, I swear. They're both RPGs. Yeah, if you're reading that, yeah. it's kind of funny. This guy's kind of funny. He's always like, like, it's really funny when he talks. He's like, I can't hear you. He's like, what's your name? Murphy! Will you accept no reward? I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. What? I want my rewards. Well, you're gonna get a reward pretty soon, actually. Um, one of the characters in this level are gonna join you. So, but first, before we can get all our prizes from him, we are going to go down here and oh, we got an email. Let's see what it says. Uh, close it. I want some email. Yeah. I like Professor Frankly. Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Frankly here. An email in any form. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this one. Uh, yeah, this is telling you how the email thing works. And this is a re um, registration to a, th a fake newspaper in the game called RDM. Um, Newsport Daily Mail? I don't know. Um, but anyway, the RDM is actually really helpful. It'll tell you where you can find stores in the level, like which buildings to look at. And there's a downer. That's store. Freaking joke. Um, anyways, uh, it also tells you recipes, like, you haven't, if you haven't, it's, it's gonna tell you the same one no matter what, so, but if you haven't learned them, it's really nice to get, read that. There's a star piece in that bush there. Thank you, Mr. Bush, for giving me your presents. I don't know what. Check everything here for star pieces, and anything else you can possibly get your hands are on. Uh... Hit your face. Oh crap, I was looking at the wrong screen. I was looking at the computer screen. It's getting slow, so. I'll try and see if it like, sped up anyway. The reason I didn't kill the Koopa here is because I want to tattle him real quick. Shouldn't have him yet. That's a Koopa Troopa. Boing. Oh wait, I didn't dodge that, did I? Yeah, one damage won't hurt him, it'll just knock him on his back, so you can hurt him properly. Man, why can't I, why can't I not time anything today? And we're only gonna learn to, like, two or three, oh wait, four more enemies this part. That was one of them. And that's the end of this episode, I think. Let's see if anything in these bushes real quick. Nope, there's not. So thank you for watching. Come again, sir!